forklift trucks. Machines designed and built to move material efficiently and dependably. You can color them safe. Equipment like this is, is safe. The only thing that can make it otherwise is the way it's used. How it's handled by the guy at the controls. And you can say this for most forklift operators. They're professionals. They're proud of their skill on these machines. Proud of their ability to get the job done right. They have good safety records, most of them. Only now and then will you find the exception. The one who takes chances. The guy who's too busy to read his manual, to learn the rules. The guy who fails to follow instructions or takes a chance. On the job or off, he's the guy who forgets the color of danger. Red like blood. The color that says, watch it. The color that warns no of trouble ahead. And whenever that warning is ignored, disaster can strike. It can strike on the street or on the job. So most professional operators heed the warning signs. They look for the color of danger. But they realize also that not all hazards can be marked or lighted. Signs can't be everywhere that danger might appear under certain conditions. And so they've learned to think ahead, to sense trouble before it develops. In a way, they see the color of danger even when it isn't there. For example, ahead of this operator are a number of places that good sense would color red for danger. Places where the worst might happen if the operator were not alert. Let's say it again. A truck like this will do its job safely, provided it's properly used. But misuse can reduce its built-in margin of safety in many ways. Load a truck beyond its rated capacity and the steering is effective. This may mean nothing more than a poorly negotiated turn and some expensive casting broken. Nobody hurt. Not this time. But faulty steering has been known to kill people. But even with no load and perfect steering, the careless operator can get himself in trouble. This fellow fails to lower his mast. Forgets he has to pass under an overhead obstruction in the form of a temporary steam line. His thoughtlessness adds up to the color of danger. Professionals follow the basic rule. Always lower the mast when traveling from one point to another, with or without a load. Keep the forks low. If visibility is a problem, travel in reverse. And they keep in mind this principle. Raising a load also raises a truck's center of gravity. When this happens, it's time to take it easy. A clumsy hand on the lift or tilt lever can start a chain reaction that leads to trouble. Nothing like a little jolt to drive a lesson home. Some unmarked hazards are so obvious that anyone should spot them. 
Where would you put the color of danger in this scene? First of all, that load is loose on the pallet. And those railroad tracks will produce quite a bump at the speed he's going. The best advice about crossing tracks is reduce speed and always cross them at an angle instead of head on. It's always condition red on a loading dock. Loose dock plates, wheels not blocked, slippery decks. Any of these can cause trouble. An operator who doesn't see the color of danger before he drives into a trailer isn't likely to see it after. It's not a good idea to depend on others to see danger for you. So always check the dock plate and make sure the wheels are chocked before you begin working a truck. People who take things for granted are especially apt to miss the color of danger when it flashes. This machine is in the shop to have the brakes repaired, but the mechanic, Harry Swartz, gets called away before he can complete the job. And he forgets to put a warning tag on the machine. The operator, Bob Brower, is there at 9.20. Harry promised him his truck would be ready by 9, so it must be ready. So why wait to see Harry? Or why, for that matter, take time to inspect the machine? Here's why. He starts down an incline with no brakes. There's a sharp turn at the bottom. It's conditioned red all the way. What happened, Bob? You hurt? No. Maybe we'll take you over here and uh, let you sit down for a minute. No. A heck of a way to stop a truck. A 12,000-pound truck crash lands pretty hard. That's why an operational check is important, especially when it's been in the shop for repairs. But whether it's been in the shop or it's just the start of the shift, the experienced operator makes sure his machine is ready to go. He checks the hydraulic oil. The clutch. And the water. He checks the engine oil. Looks at the tire. and his instruments. And he tests his brakes. He reports a faulty operation immediately. He doesn't take a chance. Yes, a professional takes pride in his machine and in the way he does his job. He not only knows his machine and its capabilities, but he makes sure he knows the material he has to handle. A real pro would never fail to take into account loosely secured containers, and he'd use special care when working at this height. Several past thousand cans is an awful mess to clean up. These machines will move tremendous amounts of material, but there's one thing they're not designed to do. They're not meant to carry passengers. If you want to really see the color of danger, just offer some of your buddies a ride on your truck.
I'll remember your kindness for a long time. Here's another way to be remembered, and not fondly. Park your truck and leave the forks raised. After all, how can anyone get hurt by a machine that's standing still? This is a great way to cool a beautiful friendship. Of course, there are times when it's a good idea to cool it. Emotional upsets can turn careful people into real daredevils. Take the case of Joe Dexter, a forklift operator on his way to work. Joe is still burned up when he gets to the plant. I see it kind of late this morning. All right, now don't you start it on me, too. I wonder what's ailing him. He's too angry to use his head. Now, normally, Joe wouldn't think of traveling with his forks raised. He knows the extra weight of mast, carriage, and forks on his truck, combined with too much speed, can spell trouble. But he's sore, and in this state of mind, he can't see the color of danger. So, cool it before you start to drive. Another way to cool it, but not particularly recommended. You're working inside a warehouse on a, on a dry surface. There's plenty of traction for turning and braking. But suppose you forget for a moment the possibility that the dock outside may be wet and slippery. On the way out, you pick up too much speed. So, when you hit the brakes, Where traction may be a problem, reduce your speed, or make sure you can swim. Of course, an operator doesn't have all the responsibility for safety. Those working around forklift trucks should watch out for the rear end swing, especially in close quarters. They should make certain the operator knows they're there. Otherwise, the color of danger may be all too apparent. Some large lumber dealers handle millions of board feet each year. To move that much lumber efficiently requires a lot of material handling equipment. But unless it's used safely, there's not much efficiency. Example, a heavy load carried too high for stability, partially obstructed vision, add too much speed, a sharp turn, a sudden stop, and the result is down modern time. In this case, no casualties. Another time, who knows? The point about the color of danger is anyone can see it after an accident. The trick is to recognize it before. Loading a stack of drums three pallets high is asking for trouble, but that's only the start. Since the operator doesn't see the color of danger, let's put it in for him. Some red on the barrels because three pallets high, they make an unstable load. Some red on the ramp, always a danger spot and some red on his head because it isn't working. He should have learned long ago that the only way to get down an incline with a load is to back down. But it's too late now. A careless operator, an unstable load, a sudden stop, an explosive mixture. They say accidents will happen. And they're right, they will happen. As long as the man at the controls doesn't look for trouble ahead, doesn't know and follow the rules. They will happen to the man who misuses his, leash, his machine, forgets its capabilities and limits. 
Accidents will happen to the man who doesn't think, who doesn't keep on the alert, who doesn't watch for the color of danger.